Hi guys, welcome to iMobi channel. Are you experiencing software glitches and want to erase personal data before selling your device? Or simply wish to start fresh, a factory reset can be the perfect solution. In this video, we'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of resetting your tablet. What's more, we will provide a solution for you if you stuck on Google verification after factory reset. Finally, we will introduce some tablet backup methods to you. So let's get started. In the first part, we will demonstrate two ways to reset an Android tablet. If you remember your Google account passcode and screen passcode, or you don't sign an account and set up lock screen on your tablet, you can select the first solution. Go to settings to find about tablet. Scroll down to choose reset option. Then, choose factory data reset and tap on reset button. It will ask you to enter the passcode to confirm the action. Finally, tap on delete all and your tablet will be reset automatically. It will take some time, please wait patiently. Next, you will see the welcome screen. Do the following steps to complete setups and you will access the home screen. The second way seems to be more difficult than the first, but if you don't remember any passcodes, this solution will help you. Let's get started. Here are three buttons will be used in this tip, including the side button, volume up, and volume down buttons. Press and hold your Android device's power button and the volume down key for at least 5 seconds or until the screen shuts down. When the tablet is powered off, Press and hold side button and volume up button at the same time. When you see the device logo, release buttons, and you will reach the recovery mode screen. Then, press the volume down button to select wipe data and factory reset option. When the process is done, select reboot system now. Wait for a while, and you will see the welcome screen. Complete setups on your tablet and you will regain access to it. In the second part, we will provide a solution for you if you stuck on Google verification after factory reset your tablet. If your tablet is signed in to a Google account, you will be stuck on the Verify account screen. It is disastrous if you don't remember the passcode or you cannot contact the previous owner because the device was brought from someone else. So let's show you the solution. Connect your tablet via a USB or USB-C cable. Run DroidKit on your PC or Mac and select FRP Bypass. Click Start and wait for the configuration files to be prepared. Next, DroidKit will ask you to choose your Android OS version or tablet. Please choose Tablet Series and click Next. Follow the instructions in DroidKit. If you haven't factory reset your tablet, please reset it and reach the welcome screen first. Then, complete some setups and connect a stable Wi-Fi. Click Send Notifications in DroidKit, you will see a dialog pop up, tap on View. Next, do the second step and click Reset in DroidKit. Please wait for a while patiently, and don't unplug your tablet during the process. When you see the Bypass completed screen, you can regain access to your tablet. In the last part, we will show you two tips to back up Android tablets. Before doing factory reset, backing up important data on your tablet, such as photos, contacts, and music is necessary. 
If you're using Samsung tablet, Smart Switch is a good tool for you. Download Smart Switch app on your computer and tablet. Connect your tablet to your computer. Then, launch Smart Switch on both Samsung tablet and computer. Here are two options in Smart Switch, click on Backup. And all items will be listed here, choose all or select types as you need. Finally, click Backup. After completed, click OK, and in Restore option, all your backups will be listed here, you can choose to restore to your device. In the second way, we will show you how to transfer files from your Android tablet to your computer. Run DroidKit and connect your tablet to your computer. Select Device Manager in Data Manager and click Start. Choose Export Content and select types of data you want to transfer. Change Export Format and Path if you need and click Continue. After the transfer is completed, click View Files, and you can check these files on your computer. That's all tips, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video.